And Victoria will close its border to anyone arriving from anywhere in New South Wales from midnight tomorrow. Andrew Lund is at the Genoa checkpoint in the state's Far East. Andrew, this will affect thousands of people. Uh, yes, Alicia, it's now something of a race against the clock for Victorians holidaying in regional New South Wales. The queue of cars and caravans here has grown uh, all afternoon since the announcement was made. This is one of 31 checkpoints being manned by Victoria Police along the border and officers are bracing for a busy new year as people race to make it home before the border shuts. On the busy Hume Highway this afternoon, the police checkpoint made for slow going. It's going to be inconvenient, but we do what we need to do to keep everyone safe. If it's going to keep people safe, that's fine. That's what we have to do. Sydney needs to do what Melbourne does, just sort it out and squash it. It followed the state government's announcement that the border will close to all of New South Wales. Not an easy choice. Closing borders, putting in place restrictions is never an easy choice to make uh, and certainly not one that we wanted to be making and announcing on a day that is supposed to be about celebrating. People travelling from Greater Sydney and the Central Coast are already banned from entering Victoria. From midnight tonight, that red zone will expand to include the Illawarra and Blue Mountains. And from midnight tomorrow, it will be further widened to include all of regional New South Wales. We hope that the both Acting Premier of Victoria and the Premier of New South Wales uh, realise that the impact these decisions make on, on local people, the way that they do business. Victorians arriving home today will be required to self-isolate until they test negative. Those arriving tomorrow will be required to test and isolate for 14 days. After that, the only option will be hotel quarantine. Unfortunately, the virus doesn't expire at midnight tonight and we have to remain vigilant and we have to do everything we possibly can to lock in the situation we have here in Victoria. But as Victoria closed its border, Western Australia slammed its door shut on us. Victoria will now transition from a very low risk state to a medium risk state under our controlled interstate border arrangements. The timing is terrible, but COVID-19 doesn't respect dates. It doesn't respect celebrations. Summer holiday plans are now up in the air as thousands race to get home. Andrew Lund, Nine News.